Um, evening, Mr. Price. I seem to speak to you more than you speak to your wife these days, which is a, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing for you. I'm sure it's a bad thing. Um, uh, we never speak when I lose, so I'll, I don't mind speaking to you every day. <laughs> that's okay. Then. Um, when we spoke about a week ago, prior to the resumption of the Premier League, uh, you said you were only coming here to practice. Well, your practice is going very well, Mr. Price. Yeah, definitely. I, obviously, I wanted to not get relegated early on and then make sure I had you know, a few days practice. So uh, the, the practice is going good. I've got another four days practice next week. Yeah, leading into some good majors. So, yeah, really good practice. You, you go into the two-day break. Will you stay in Milton Keynes, by the way? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm going to watch a couple of games now. I'm, I might head home tomorrow and come back Wednesday, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Okay. You've obviously gone into the two-day break in the best possible frame of mind. You've turned everything around. In, in 48 hours, you've really changed everything around so quickly for you. And you, you must go into the second half of the Premier League again, really on a good bounce. Yeah, obviously I'm full of confidence now and I've got myself into you know, third or fourth, depends on how the other games go and all. But I'm in the top four coming back next week and as long as I can keep winning, <clears throat> then I'll obviously get me into the into the playoffs. But you know, the, the league's so tight that you can't slip up anyway, so it's, it's a lot of pressure either way. Okay. Um, I have to say, and that, that was a cracking match with Peter, I have to say two lovely moments well, after his, his missed nine data and then the one four two. So lovely respect between the two of you on stage. It paints a very different picture what people probably think of you after all your sort of ups and downs with different players. We know you're a Marmite character, but do you think you're actually misunderstood by the way you're perceived? Possibly sometimes, yeah, but no, Peter played brilliant today and them two checkouts, I think they deserved, well, especially the, the one four two deserved the, the recognition and obviously missing the nine data, but yeah, no, fair play to Peter. I, w I was hoping that uh, nine data went in. It was fifty grand in the bag for him. Or he might have given me under could, you know. Um, it, it just goes to prove how what a harsh reality the Premier League Premier League is now. You can Peter can take a take a one four two out like that, have one oh seven average, and, and finish with nothing in the night. Is that is that the reality you all have to get used to that you can play so great and still get beaten? Yeah, well, you know we know you. Everybody's in this Premier League for a reason. Every, I think every one of us deserve a place. You know, Nathan being uh, a debut and he's, he's playing fantastic, and Glenn as well, and everybody else. And, you know, we can all average 107, 108 every time. And when it clashes like that, then, you know, it, it comes close. And I broke Peter early on, and I think that probably won me the game and put him on the back foot. So, yeah, we can all throw those averages. So that that's why we're here. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for your time again, and enjoy the next couple of days, at least a couple of days off. Boys, cheers. Thank you.